Hey, would you like to know how to create a quick and free branded webinar slide template? If so, stick around. I'm going to show you how to get that done. We are over in PowerPoint and the reason that I wanted to do this video for you real quick today is that literally I've had a lot of people ask me, Christina, how are you able to create a quick and easy branded webinar slide template? So that's what I'm going to show you today. Um, this was the template that I created. It took me all of not even five minutes. So I'm going to show you how to do it really quickly. It might take me five minutes, more than five minutes to uh, talk you through it, but here's how you do it. So go up here. You can uh, click new slide. Make sure, right click on that and make sure that the layout is set to blank, right? Now, you've got your white, uh, you, you've got your white palette here. One way that you can brand your webinar template is to make sure they include all of your branded colors. So maybe you might make the background, maybe let's just for the sake of this, say your, one of your branded colors is, um, is blue. So if you'll double click on it, you can always right click and click format background that will bring up the format background background template over here and select your color so uh, for the sake of this we'll just do that really quick and choose uh, let's do a little bit dark one I don't know I'd like to choose a little dark one yeah that little dark one right now keep in mind you can always make it a little bit more transparent by adjusting the transparency over here if you'd like right but I'm gonna keep it at zero now, now we've got our background. Now we've got our base color here. Now, in order to create this white section that I have on my branded template, this is where I'm going to be typing in all, you know, all the content and everything. So I want it to show up really well on the screen. I'm just going to go up here and click insert and then click object. Now I chose this rectangular rounded corners um, um, shape and drag it out with the crosshairs. Now, you can drag it out as far as you want. Just determine how much space you want there between the white section and your base color, okay? So I, I like to have it a little bigger and just adjust a little bit to make sure that it's in the middle there. Now, to change the color on this, just simply double click it, right? And when you do, that will open up the drawing tools window uh, um, menu up here. So click shape fill and make sure that it's white and then make sure the shape outline is white as well. Now, we've got the base of our template here. In order to brand, another way that you can brand it is um, include a picture of yourself in there. So I have actually a picture of myself that's cut out. Um, so I'm just gonna go over here, click insert and pictures and grab that really quickly. And of course, you don't want it to be that big because you're just going to want it down in the in the corner there. So I'm going to adjust the sides. Notice I just grab it here in the corner and adjust the sides and drag it over here. Just drag it over here out of the way a little bit. Now, make sure that it's lined up there at the bottom. And it kind of just looks like I'm um, just sitting in the corner there. You can make it a little bit bigger if you'd like. Not, a, not, a, not really huge, but that's enough, right? Now, I just want to show you something really quickly because if you, after you've uh, added that in, make this bigger here now after you've added that in it might be that you've added it in in a different order than I've shown you here and you might notice that your picture is like behind that little white section right so it might look like that if so don't worry about it just click on the bottom of the picture and go to arrange bring forward and that'll bring it forward okay or you can always click on this white section here and send it to the back either way it, it'll make it it'll bring the picture to the front okay now, now that we've got that done, if you want to, now, you're, now your branded template is, is, is good to go. You can also go in here and maybe put your website on there. Um, you can go ahead and maybe click insert and click word art. And it doesn't even have to be this crucial. It doesn't really matter. But if I wanted to, I can ChristinaIrvin.com and I can make it a little smaller drag it out make it a little smaller maybe I adjust the size of the font there to 24 28 no big deal now and 
in. Maybe I'll drag this over. Oops. And don't panic because it's, you know, till you get used to working with it. Just click on it to make the, the sides of the box come in so that you can move it. See when it has the four crosshairs there, now you know that you can move it, right? So I can put it right there. And so that doesn't show up very well. What I can do is highlight it. You notice that it brings up the font color. And I can change that to, let's just go ahead and make it white just for the simple, for to be quick, right? So there you go. Now it's, it's a branded webinar slide, okay? So if you want, now, now that you're ready to put the content on there, I wanna show you another quick little um, tip. You're just gonna click on the insert tab and click on text box. It'll bring up this little crosshair again, draw you a quick text box. Now you can click over here on bullets and you can now type in whatever information you want to. Right? These are, this is, is going to uh, be your, your slide templates now. Right? It's hard to type and everything. So that's all you gotta do. Now look, you can always adjust the size of it. I suggest that you make sure that the font is a good size so that it can be seen on the screen. Right? And that's pretty good size right there. So there you have it. Now you've got your branded webinar templates. I hope your webinar slide templates, hope you got some value out of that uh, today. And if you did, do me a favor, plus one it, like it, tweet it, pin it, share it across all of your social media. Don't forget to sub subscribe to this channel. I look forward to talking to you again soon and you have a great day. Bye. You can find more marketing mindset and time management tips just like these over at ChristinaIrvin.com. And while you're over there, remember to pick up your totally free copy of my five-step audience building framework. I'll see you over there.